Alright, so like I said, I'm finally getting my shit together and doing some reloading. Between uh, sets of working out and just priming up this brass, I'll just do 50 at a time because I've got a single stage press kit. No sense in trying to, you know, prime all of them up and then powder them and so on. So, 50 at a time. <clears throat> I ended up with Lee dies. They weren't what I wanted, but uh, the Hornady ones I was looking at were $68, and these were $34 with the shell holder. So, hopefully these won't break. I've broken Lee dies a few times. But uh, I'm off work next week, so it should give me time to load up all these bullets and maybe even go to the range. I'm kind of curious to see how these bullets do. I mean, I, obviously I'm just using them for range ammo, like 100 yards or less. It should be fun. Oh, uh, and there's the little guns that Potter will be using. That or H110, I think are the two kinds mostly recommend for this. Um, oh, I'm actually kind of a fan of using these Potter scoopers. I've got a big set of them from Lee. And I just uh, use those in a scale and get it to about the amount that I want, rather than trying to use one of those big electric ones. I read reviews on those, it seems like everyone says they work great and then they die and there's no way to fix them and you're out 300 bucks. Whereas some powder scoopers were $20 or whatever they were, and they're not going to suddenly break on me or whatever. So I'll just do the old fashioned way, because I, like I said, I don't do that much shooting or reloading. And 50 at a time like that, it's no big deal.